what are cluster munitions? Here's what you need to know and why these bombs are. It looks very likely that President Zelensky has asked for a lot more weapons in this war and a month into the spring offensive, it's not going as smoothly as President Zelensky would have wanted. He's admitted that progress is incredibly slow. The American aid, which is high Mars rockets, will provide uh, strength in depth for the Ukrainian offense, but they're incredibly expensive and in short supply. What looks very likely is it's the Russian defenses of trenches and mines which need to be targeted. And cluster munitions could be extremely effective at both of these targets. It looks likely America is going to offer 155 millimeter shells, which once they're in the air, they uh, outer skin to parts and up some risks though about the use of these munitions. Well, President Zelensky has got a difficult choice to make. If he desperately needs the effect that these weapons will have on the battlefield, he will have to own the risk of all this unexploded ordnance. However, what looks very likely is that these weapons will only be used on Ukraine soil and probably in an area that's heavily mined by the Russians already. So President Zelensky will already be faced with a demining operation and therefore uh, sorting out unexploded ordnance in that same area will not be a big deal for him. But there is no doubt that there is a balance to be struck here between the effectiveness in these weapons and the liability long term. Because many of the little uh, bomblets that these cluster munitions uh, detonate, they actually fail to explode when they hit the ground. And that can pose a risk to civilians that is similar to the danger posed by landmines. But the U.S. says that the munitions that they will be providing to the Ukrainians will have a dud rate of lower than 3%, around 2.35%, weapon that is banned by over 100 countries around the world, including key U.S. allies like the U.K. and Germany. Now, the U.S. defended its decision on Friday to provide these cluster munitions to Ukraine, saying that it will be necessary in order to maintain Ukraine's ammunition stockpiles as it continues to prosecute its counteroffensive against Russia. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters that without tapping in to this stockpile of U.S. cluster munitions, Ukraine could run out of ammunition uh, later this year.